And with damage like this strewn across southeast Michigan, it will be a difficult recovery. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is in Ann Arbor, where it's all hands on deck for the major cleanup. Like many cities across Metro Detroit, Ann Arbor was hit pretty hard by this storm last night. You can see uh, the amount of tree limbs that are just lining this road in this neighborhood. And it was near this intersection last night where a tree was totally blocking the road. A police officer responded to move it and a familiar face stopped to help. It was a busy night for Ann Arbor police who responded to more than 100 calls, mostly damage from the storm. For the most part of the night, the greater part of the night, we were just answering calls for uh, down branches, down limbs, power lines coming down. Officer Howard Cooper had just started his 12 hour shift when he responded to a tree blocking a road. When he arrived, another driver pulled up and got out. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, and he got out and then he, he's like, well, how about we, uh, how about we just try to move that tree together? As he kind of started walking towards me, I realized it was Coach Harbaugh. Push it this way? I guess, yeah. Officer Cooper gave Harbaugh a pair of work gloves and the two went at it, moving the heavy branch one, two, three. inch by inch. Started talking about football during it and stuff with the gloves and he was like, yeah, I guess we got to take on kind of a zone approach to this side of the limb. Along with trees, the storm took down power lines across Ann Arbor. The fire department says it also responded to over 300 incidents. It was pretty scary. I'm glad that the fire department came out and blocked this area off. The storm continued east, leaving a layer of ice throughout Wayne County, Macomb County, and Oakland County, knocking out power to thousands more. It's rough. It's rough. Uh, we're boiling water for heat. In centerline, crews were out today clearing debris, the thick ice causing damage there too. Broke my trampoline. There's trees all over my road. It's horrible over there. What's your name? Cooper. Cooper, nice to meet you. Yeah. You as well. Thank you, sir. It's now been roughly 24 hours of cleanup, and contractors and first responders have been busy. Officer Cooper, glad to have the help and a story he's now happy to tell. I just told him uh, he's a good man for that. You know, it's, uh, it's not every day you find someone so willing to just hop out and, and help you out, so that was awesome. And still thousands remain without power tonight in Metro Detroit. Here in Ann Arbor, the city has opened three different warming centers that will remain open overnight. We'll include information about that on our website, WXYZ.com. In Ann Arbor, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.